everyone. Just wanted to do this quick video while I was on the road. I'm on the way back home from Virginia and it was supposed to be a six and a half hour drive. It turned out to be more like a seven, eight hour type of drive. Um, I'm somewhere in Maryland at this point. I think I'm gonna be in Delaware soon. But I wanted to just do a quick little video that I'm gonna insert into my video later on uh, when I do my eight week post stop. Basically, um, I was starving. Like, I felt like my stomach touching my back, basically. And again, I'm on a roll right now. So, um, the first thing that I was able to stop at or see was Wendy's. So, I stopped at Wendy's. And I'm going to fry. I kind of was like craving a burger. I wanted some ground beef. So, I went to Wendy's. I got a burger, um, just a Julia cheeseburger. Um, and I took the burger off the bun. And I took maybe about three or four bite, bites of the patty. And I, I threw away the rest. Um, and honestly, I was disappointed. Like, normally I like Wendy's burgers, you know, or I used to. And after I took, like, the, the first bite, I was just like, oh, like, this is disgusting. Like, to me, it didn't even taste good. Like, I, I honestly prefer to have maybe some chicken or a turkey burger that I made myself. Like, when I ate the burger, it just, it it really just wasn't good it was really just to me to taste nasty and I took the last the other three bites because I knew I was on a road I may not have anywhere else to stop so I was like let me just go ahead and take these three bites um, or take whatever bites so I can feel at least I'm not hungry anymore and then I could just deal with it you know later on if I get hungry try to figure out something else but when I say the burger to me tastes disgusting I mean it literally I ate for sorry I ate it because I was just I was hungry and I know that I may not have found anything else on the way on the route that I was because it was a rural route so it wasn't too many uh, restaurants and stuff like that but it was just disgusting so um that was a few hours ago um that was probably like around 12 it's now 4 32 and um I got hungry again of course and I was like you know I'm gonna stop at the Maryland house because uh, they have different restaurants but I was gonna stop there to get Dunkin Donuts because I'm exhausted right now and I still have at least two and a half more hours to go. Maybe more because of the traffic, but hopefully not. Um, and I'm just like, you know, I, I honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I went into the Maryland house with the intent of getting popcorn. I, I kept saying to myself, I'm like, I want popcorn. I want some white cheddar popcorn at that. I want white cheddar popcorn. So when I went into the Maryland house, they have like, again different restaurants but they have like a little store in the back so i went to the store i got um a starbucks uh like ready to go drink because dunkin donuts was crowded as all and i grabbed a bottle of water because i drank all my water that i had and um the only popcorn that they had and i was like maybe this is a sign was like a big bag of popcorn and it was the skinny pop and it is actually the white cheddar skinny pop popcorn and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it. I had never tried that before. So I was like, when I want a snack on something, I looked at the nutritional facts and it wasn't bad. Um, it does have a little bit of protein in it, which obviously would not does not hurt at all. Um, doesn't have any sugar, I don't believe, or it was like one gram of sugar. or It was either no sugar or one gram of sugar. It wasn't a lot of sugar. Um, so the nutritional facts look like they're, you know, decent. Um... But I just wanted to do this video because I'm like, you know what? That was just so weird to me with the Wendy's that I used to eat Wendy's all the time, pretty much. I used to get the chicken when I go to Wendy's, the um, spicy chicken. But I had used to get their burgers sometimes, too. And the burger was just disgusting. I mean, it was, I don't know. It was just nasty. <laughs> so it, I just had to, to do a quick video about that because to me, that was just so weird. But talk to you guys later. Hi everyone, it's Diamond VSG, I guess doing, you know, Car Chronicles again. Um, I, this is going to be my eight-week post-op video. Um, my surgery date was March 24th, 2017. Um, my highest weight was 230 pounds, and that was literally like the week before surgery. Uh, surgery weight was 222 pounds. Last week I was 190 as of yesterday. I am 186 so I am currently 44 pounds down from um, my highest weight and I believe it was 36 pounds from surgery weight I believe um, 
just want to do it just a quick video just checking to, again doing my eight week post-op um basically i you know got better with my vitamins i did do that um exercise i i did not i'm not doing so great i did do a couple of things but not as much as i know i could do it's just been an exhausting week honestly mentally emotionally i just it was drained all this week um honestly just i had so many things to do as far as work wise i just really wasn't in the mood to do much of anything um protein wise i'm still struggling with protein i bought a few different protein bars i'm gonna put them at the end of the video just so you can see you know the three different kinds i chose i did choose one because it's like peanut butter cups actually wasn't bad it was um i think the mrx something one it wasn't bad it did not taste bad it was just after i um kind of chewed it up a little bit and, and kind of sat for a while it bothered my stomach and it again it taste wise it wasn't bad it just it did kind of hurt me my stomach a little bit so um i decided not to continue with that one just because i really don't want to have to deal with you know stomach issues um the premier protein bar um it actually wasn't bad either it wasn't great but it wasn't terrible i just couldn't finish it just the taste was just i don't know it just wasn't again it wasn't terrible it's just like cardboard kind of honestly um and then the quest cookies and cream bar i literally like spit it right back out to me it was like i never ate dog food but i'm pretty sure that that's what it tastes like because it just was disgusting i just i couldn't i could not do it it was just disgusting um, so I'm still trying new things for protein. Um, I, oh, I also bought the Atkins, At, Atkins, wow, Atkins, um, chocolate drink. It's only, I really didn't want to do drinks that are under the 30 grams or 20 grams of protein and they were 15 grams, but I was like, you know what, maybe I can drink two of these a day and then eat a bar that I like or something like that. Or, you know, drink two of these and then maybe a premier protein or, you know, something just to get some type of protein in. And I did not, I probably drunk a couple of six sips of the Atkins and um, that it bothered my stomach um, pretty much where I know that that's something that if I decide, it wasn't that tasting. I probably, taste wise, I probably could drink it, but that's not something I could do probably every day because again, it kind of gave me some issues where I had to go to the restroom basically. And um, it, so basically it just didn't sit well. So um, that's something that I don't think I would want to deal with especially if I'm driving somewhere or if I'm at a, a clinic or a hospital I don't have to keep getting up and down just for so I'm still looking for protein I am again getting in as much as I can um food choices for this trip was not easy like it, it really wasn't I have a few pictures but most of them are breakfast um I have maybe like one dinner picture I can add on there but um, it's it's not easy like on the road. It really is hard I know I say it's every video, but it's really hard to find something to eat. I mean that I feel is Healthy or you know, not a bad choice um, in the earlier video you saw that I went to Wendy's and It was disgusting, you know, it didn't even taste the same and literally I went to breakfast this morning Um, today. I'm sorry today is Sunday May 21st. I believe yes May 21st 2017 I went to breakfast this morning, and to me, everything just tastes weird. Um, my boyfriend did say that his breakfast wasn't that good either, but the crazy part is when I first started eating, I had grits, eggs, bacon. I know I was going to eat it all, but that's how the platter comes. Um, and I did want some grits. I haven't had grits in a long time. So I was like, okay, well, let me mix some of the grits, eggs, and bacon together, and that's how I was eating it, um, and it was good. But then when I tried everything separate, it was just, like, disgusting. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. Um... Um, I got on track, like I said, with the vitamins. So my thing is like this. I'm going to look at everything positive and say, hey, you know what? At least that's one, you know, step in the right direction. Again, exercise-wise, I did do a couple of things of exercise throughout the week, but it was just so crazy because I had so much paperwork that I had to get done. I really was more concerned with that than anything else because I had not really a deadline, but I don't like to be too far behind because I'm auditing every single week. So that's paperwork piling up every single week um that i'm not doing so i have to do it you know when i get time so um i'm actually heading out on the road today to go back to virginia i just came back friday i'm going back to virginia today on sunday mind you came back friday today is sunday but at least i come back thursday night so we'll see you know how this goes but um i do have some fears or actually one fear i am starting to kind of see the weight loss not much but a little bit, not, you know, not where people were like, like, oh my gosh, like they're seeing it. I'm just like, yeah, I guess. 
Um, and my fear is that I'm going to look like Wendy Williams. I pray to God I don't. I pray to God I don't look... I mean, I love Wendy. I love her show. I just don't want to look like her. Like, I mean, I'm not going to get that skinny because I'm not trying to. But I don't want like, the letter P. Like, I really don't. I have a big top. My top has always been bigger than my bottom. Always. My whole life. And um, I have... I shall put the picture at the end, too. I went to Target to try those jeans I was telling you guys about last week. The size 12. Because I was going to buy them. And um, this shirt. And it was a medium. I said, oh, snap. I got it to a medium. So, that's my... Now, it is kind of roomy in the shirt. It was like a stretch shirt. But I, that's the first medium I ever put on in my life that I can remember. And then I went to Forever 21 and um, tried on a dress and it was a medium and it actually fit. I didn't like the way it looked because I don't like the shape of my body right now, so I didn't take a picture. But I actually was able to put on a medium dress from Forever 21. So, you know, I, I guess that's non-scale victories as they call them, NSVs. Um, and, you know, that was just like, wow, okay, at least I know I'm going in the right direction. Um, but again, so when I put on the jeans and I put on the shirt, my top is always bigger than my bottom. And I feel like my shape is like very weird. Um, so probably down the line, I'm probably gonna have to get a breast reduction or something, a butt done. I'm gonna, something eventually, not like today, but eventually. Um, but that was definitely like one thing. I'm just like I, I don't, I'm scared my body shape is gonna look weird, and I don't want to look weird. Like, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I look smaller. And again, my breasts have always been my big. You know, it's nothing like new with that. But I've always kind of looked kind of proportion ish kind of because i have no butt but kind of proportion um so i don't know i mean maybe when i get to the gym and i start really working out more maybe um you know look a little better but you know we'll see and um there was i think that's pretty much it i mean i didn't have much to talk about this video oh i do want to give two shout outs so one to my cousin uh, Big Bill he has a channel on here I'll um, put the the name of the channel on the bottom I don't know how to link channels in just yet um, so I'm sorry but he actually does a keto diet um, and he is um, currently doing videos about you know his workouts and um, what he does like on his keto hauls and things like that and that, I think that it's really really interesting as far as diet wise if I'm not mistaken it's like a high fat low carb or no carb type of thing i'm not 100 percent sure how that works but he definitely you know tells you some of the things that he eats and how he weighs and again some of the workout that he does and you know he's a i think he put on his videos 300 pound man and he's doing exercise where he's lifting his own body weight i mean i'm not three nothing and i can't lift any of my body weight <laughs> so you know some of the videos like they're you know the videos that i've seen they're really really interesting to watch so um, definitely shout out to him and again I think it's it's B&B &B fitness and I'll put it down at the bottom uh, in the description of the video and also to Mona in the middle Mona had gastric bypass um, years ago and uh, actually not years ago I'm sorry a little while ago I'm not gonna say years ago a little while ago and she um, currently now is pregnant um, but this is you know we you know months after surgery and everything and she's actually eight months pregnant if I'm not mistaken um, but she comments on a lot of my videos. She's very inspirational. I love watching her videos. She still makes videos, you know, about uh, things that she's going through as being pregnant and things, again, that she was going through at the time that she was having the weight loss surgery. So definitely shout outs to her, too. Um, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, anything, just, you know, hit me up and let me know. Thanks for watching.